Uh, so there's also this about the election. President Biden may not be able to get his name on Ohio's ballot this November. That is because the Democratic National Convention is taking place after the state is required to certify its ballot. And all of this is a big old mess. Dave Yost is the Attorney General of Ohio, and he is here to tell us what is going on. Attorney General, good morning to you. That's a good place to start. Can you morning. tell us in simple terms here what is going on? Yeah, there's a law that's been in place that applies to all candidates, regardless of the, uh, the office they're running for or the party they're running for, uh, that the ballot deadline is 90 days before the election. That's to allow adequate time for the preparation and proofreading of the ballot uh, and to get the machines loaded. Uh, that takes time. You don't do it overnight. It's the same rule for everybody. Uh, the Democrats scheduled their convention to nominate Joe Biden after that deadline, and that creates a problem. So Ohio is a swing state. Is President Biden's name going to be on the ballot? And if not, what will that do to the vote? Well, right now, uh, it doesn't look like they're compliant. But look, if there's anything the that party has. It's a surplus of lawyers. Uh, they've got several months to figure this out. I fully expect them to f figure out a way to get their candidate on the ballot. After all, it's one of the two major candidates. Uh, he's an incumbent president. Uh, but on my watch, they're going to do it by the law. Got to do it by law, according to the Ohio Attorney General. Dave Yost, thank you so much for explaining this to us and waking up with us this morning. Have a great day. You too. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.